Oh my gosh, you guys. I'm so beyond ecstatic for you. I've set the intention that this message finds who it needs to find because you guys, this energy is so beautiful. We have the fool coming out with the four of wands. This means like exciting celebration, new beginnings for you. Like I have full body chills right now. Like you guys, there is such greatness coming in for you. This is going to be a time of celebration. I'm getting this, this feeling like you guys can feel this deep within your core, your soul feels this deeply that you have this new opportunity, this new beginning, and it is going to be full of joy and abundance and just moments to be celebrating. Oh my God, get ready. I was literally just kind of like went to go get my cards that I felt called to pull from today. And my journal was kind of like open the words, like the big words that I had written down were buckle up. And that's what I saw going into this reading. So like buckle up, babe, buckle up. Yeah. We have the eight of cups coming in. You've been like really in your emotions, but this eight of cups is saying like, just let it go. She's turned her back. She's trusting. She's a letting, she's kind of just like letting her emotions flow and just, um, surrendering to what's about to come in. Ah, I'm, God, this is so amazing. Yeah. Ace of cups coming in. Like I could literally, like, I'm so excited. I could cry is like the the energy that I'm feeling right now. Like I have tears wanting to like well up in my eyes right now, but they're like such happy, joyful, like cup overflowing, like cup overflowing you guys. Oh, I almost just want to like rest in this energy right now. Just soak it up. Soak up every minute of this new beginning. Oh, what is this? There's a card flipped over. Yes, the Nine of Wands. The Nine of Wands, you've been through it. You have been through it, but you know what? I'm gonna, hold on, there's like cards that are like popped out here. What are these? Hang tight. These ones were all flipped in. So let's see. We had the nine of wands, the four of swords, the six of cups, and the five of pentacles. Yes. Okay, you guys. This is for the people you can see. The, fi the five of coins and the nine of wands is like you've been going through some shit. You have been... Um, facing so many wounds, so many trials and tribulations. You've been in this, like this lack mentality, um, wondering how like your finances are going to turn around for you. What can you be doing to bring in more income? Like all of these, all of these, um, materialistic things, you can see that he is just like down and out feeling lack, but if he realizes there's nothing blocking his way up these stairs to get to this, it's all in his own mind. And you're coming out of this with, with the four of swords and the six of cups, the four of swords is saying like, you've been in this state of rest. You just need to rest right now and stop thinking so much, um, about how it's going to come in for you. Just really trust because like, the six of cups is like somebody's coming in for you. You are going to be guided and, and helped and like gifted to you. Like, oh my gosh, this is such beautiful energy, babe. You just need to rest right now. You just need to surrender the outcomes. Trust because this new beginning is seriously coming in for you. Uh, you just have to get out of the lack mentality. You just have to let that all go. What you've experienced up until now is not going to be what you experience in the near future. I feel like this is coming in fast with this, with the wand energy is very fiery and like 
it's coming in and you're so deserving of this. So deserving of this. Okay. Trust right now. Oh, I'm so happy for you. Oh, what a beautiful message. What a beautiful energy. Oh, I just keep getting this feeling like you really, you really feel it, but you're like, like kind of confused about like, how is it going to show up? And this is just really trying to tell you to just hold on and trust. Yep. The crumbling. We have the tower, the crumbling. What are you clinging to? There's, there's something that you're holding on to that isn't serving you. And this is the block. Okay. So take some time, really analyze all the aspects of your life, analyze the people in your life, the, the, the jobs, the, this and that, you name it, figure out what isn't serving you. What doesn't bring you peace and love and joy and let it crumble. Okay. Things that no longer serve us, your energy is, is your vibration is rising. And so things have to fall in order for you to rise up to this next, this next level of success and whatever, there's things that cannot come with you. Okay. And this is just really telling you to analyze your life right now. So just rest and see where you can make tweaks in your mindset and your daily life to, to bring out more of the love, peace, joy, energy. Okay. Um, we have a choice every single day and within every single moment, if you find yourself in a state of fear, guilt, shame, resentment, judgment, all these low vibrational energies, face them and then try to, um, find something joyful to counteract that energy. Okay. Um, we have the no coming out, no card, which is wait, postpone, pause, or say no. So this is also telling me that this isn't a time to make huge decisions, especially with like the four of swords out here is like, this is just a time to, to rest. Don't push yourself so hard. You do have a beautiful new beginning, new opportunity that's going to be coming in for you. But right now you need to be saying no. You need to be saying no to anything that steals your joy that makes you feel upset and guilty and shameful for things. Okay. If those feelings are within your body, you need to be saying no to them. Okay. A big hard no with this crumbling and the no card Say yeah, that's all I can say right now. Say no to anything that's low vibration, anything that's making you feel fearful, overly sad, um, like sadness isn't a bad emotion. So don't think it's a bad emotion, but we don't want to, we don't want to, we don't want to stay in the sadness. Sadness is there to teach us something within ourselves. So definitely feel what you need to feel, but don't stay. Okay. Don't stay in the sadness. Find a way to get back into, you know, joy, love, compassion, grace, the initiation, rite of passage, crossing the threshold. Yes, you're doing it. You're getting there slowly, but surely you are getting there. I'm going to, I feel called to read this one to you guys. So let me go find it. Okay. I just want to say I paused on nine minutes and 36 seconds. So nine, three, six, six or three, six, nine. Um, could be very significant to you. I also, um, think that maybe listening to 936 Hertz frequency could really help you in this time period. Okay. The initiation, some of the most sacred initiation chambers and temples look scary from the outside, but are breathtakingly beautiful on the inside. This represents the journey that the soul pilgrim is required to take to reach somewhere sacred, but only the initiated can enter. Perhaps that's where you are right now. You are being tested, initiated because you are headed somewhere sacred. 
Initiations require that we cross the threshold from one world or state of being to the next. We are called to face what scares us and have and have to be willing to lose it all in order to gain a new way of being, of safety, of security, of depth, of meaning. Initiations like rites of passage mark the shift from one age to the next and can take place because of emotional turmoil, great loss, grief, or devastation. But it is through the seeming hardship that our heart cracks open and our spirit is invested to step forward. We take the sacred voyage into more of who we are and who we came here to be. It can be painful and scary, but once we begin the journey, we can be more ourselves than ever before. If you are in the middle of initiation right now, you will get through it, and one day soon, you will bless the thing that broke you down and cracked you open because the world needs you open. You are going somewhere sacred. It will be worth it, and you're closer than you think. Yes. This is really, really big energy, okay? Um, I just feel really called to just tell you just to rest in these moments. Um, get out of the mindset that you have to be go, 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 busy, busy, busy. Don't hold on to any, any guilt or shame around being lazy at this time, okay? Your soul has been doing so much work, like over time, okay? Every single night that we go to sleep, our soul leaves our body. Our body needs rest. Our soul does not, okay? So our soul is doing like so much work in the astral realms. And it can, it can make our physical body so tired. So just trust what your body is trying to tell you right now. I'm, I'm sure, I'm sure I'm speaking to people who feel so drained right now. Life has felt so heavy. Okay. That's what this, this nine of wands energy is, is like, she is so tired. She's been really through it. She has taken, it's taken every bit of strength within her to get to where she is right now, but she is still holding strong, even though she's a little battered and bruised, but she knows that, you know, we're going, she's going into the, into the right direction. Okay. She's facing, um, all those things and staying true to herself and, you know, just holding on to her strength to get through it. So you got this. It's almost here. You can feel it. I know you can. So just rest, let what needs to crumble, crumble. Don't, I'm really hearing, don't feel guilty or shameful for letting what needs to crumble, crumble at this time. It doesn't mean that it needs to go away forever is what I'm really feel like I need to say to you. Don't feel like it needs to go away forever. But right now in this time period, there is something that is keeping you stuck and you need to figure out what that is. Pinpoint it, let it crumble say no to anything that doesn't feel right to you. That could be eating certain foods, being around certain people at this time, doing certain things at this time, like whatever it is, you know, it, you know, it within your heart, in your gut, it tell it's telling you. So listen to that little voice that is, that is saying, slow down, just lay on the couch. Don't eat this. Like there it's, oh, there's, there, there's that inner voice that's always talking to us and it's our higher self is very soft. Okay. Very soft spoken. Our ego who wants to keep us safe. Anytime that we step out of our comfort zone, the ego is going to be there to be like, Oh, are you sure? Oh, I don't know. It's going to be very like anxious sounding, very like, um, in your face and louder. So you need this time to be more still and to rest and to quiet the mind more so you can hear the soft, higher self, like the angel, if you will. It's like the angel and devil, right? The ego is the, our devil self, our, you know, our inner demons, our darkness that just wants to keep us safe and not growing. And then we have our angel self, our higher self, the God self that's like really trying to help us grow into the, into the true potential that we are. And so, but that, that voice is so much quieter than the ego. And so often we, as humans, we live out of the ego because we hear that voice 
way more loud and clear. But our whole purpose is to slow down so we can connect with our angelic self, our God self, the, the all knowing, you know? Um, so yeah. Okay. I'm going to leave it here. What a beautiful, beautiful message. Let me know in the comments if you've been feeling this, give this video a like, give it a share, um, uh, to someone who might need to hear this message themselves. And like always, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, go ahead and subscribe. I'm so grateful for all of you who tune in and listen to these messages. Um, remember to always just take what resonates and leave the rest for other people. Use your discernment and, um, use the link in the description to follow me on different platforms. I do specific readings for Instagram, specific readings for TikTok, and then specific readings here on YouTube. So if you feel called, go ahead and follow me on my other socials and I will catch you guys later.